What is up guys, Claw Stars here. Today we are doing what is inside of a claw machine. So let's get started. So first off, we're gonna start with the claw and like all the mechanisms and all that stuff. So now first off when you come in here, there's gonna be all of there's gonna be the gears. What this is just a like it's kind of like a rubber band and that's pretty much what moves the claw because in here in this box it uh, sends feeds from down here to go side to side and then when I press drop, you will see that drop plate right here. See how it went down and then back up when it grabs something? So pretty much, yeah. It's actually, I think that is the, uh, there is... A lot of people wonder, like, how's the claw actually, like, close like this? Some people think it's just when the, uh, thing that you grab, like, that it just hits that and then it closes. But there's actually a magnet in the claw that, um, makes the tension. That's why you can change the tension so easily with just a little switch is because it's just this is a powerful magnet and you just weaken it you just weaken the magnet until you can't and this is what uh, tells the claw to like when it's down here it tells the claw okay ready and then watch that and then it comes out and then bam that's what tells the claw that it needs to close. So pretty much that's... And then these on the side are obviously the uh, thing that uh, slides side to side. And uh, this communicates up here. This, the whole thing runs off of that cord right here all this cord that comes all the way back here and down here and into there it all comes in right here up through the tracks and right in to there i'm gonna try and give you guys an upper view of inside of there i don't know how well you can actually see inside of there but Pretty much it's a lot of the stuff and then if you look right under in there that spring helps uh it looks like that's the spring that uh helps it move uh yeah so that's about it for up here so let's go ahead and move down to the thing that runs it all <laughs> the main circuit board so pretty much this in here is the control board and give me just a second and I'll get flat. Okay guys, so pretty much we're going to go ahead and start back here because that's where we ended off at is the cords run down from out here and then come back right here. Now this is where all the magic happens pretty much all this controls go and then pretty much right here all of these wires and all these wires are pretty much what makes the claw happen um and then we have obviously the power and cables on and off slip on and off switch. 
We have the bill acceptor, what I do not have one, so I wonder yeah. I don't even have a bill acceptor, so but this is where it would have been if I did have one. And then this is the uh fuse and uh on and off, I mean there's not really much uh here's like on my machine here's like the strength so I can move it from like 50 hundreds all the way over here and then there's the dip switches what when you use these controls on the dip switches it will you know switch it up and which ones you need and if you have been watching my videos since the very begin, like very beginning, you know that I used to have this on my machine before I bought a joystick for my machine. But this is what I used to have, and uh, it got annoying at times, I'd say. But it's pretty cool. Um, it's part of the machine's history, you know. It's like. And then here's how many plays I have played on it. I'm getting to 100,000. I'm getting there. Now, I didn't get this machine brand new. This was actually in a gas station before I got it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so, thank you so much for watching the video. Um... Uh, Please like, subscribe, and comment, and give me more ideas for more videos coming up soon. See you next time.